Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we start to celebrate small successes and uh, it makes us happy. I was putting out some water for the ducks and uh, the only easy hollow thing I could find was this small hole I have made next to this fig tree um, two and a half years ago and I just filled it with all sorts of logs and wood whatever I could find and uh, yesterday I started scratching here I found a lot of roots from the fig, but also some real soil. That makes me very, very happy. So, a small success, but uh, it looks like it's working. We have this hole, we filled it with organic material, we left it. It did not receive that much water, only some rainwater now and then. And uh, it's decomposing. And it feels good. It feels, I mean, there's still a lot of bigger chunks. And it looks like we have some fungi in there as well. Super! I like it. Here in the chicken run, I drop all the ashes from our fireplace here to see what they do. And they seem to enjoy it. Six eggs every day. Sometimes two more eggs from the ducks. And we started giving them away gifting them to other people. So we're building up this social exchange system and they gift us some of their produce. I like it. Inspired by the decomposition, decomposing organic material, um, I started filling up swales this is now the third time in three years we are actually filling up these small swells. So uh, a lot of things do get decomposed over time. And that is a very good thing for us. This is the one of the madnesses behind how we do our swales. We fill them with organic material to the brim and more. And here um, I thought maybe I can even have some windbreak and uh, also protect the plants against the cold. If I do fill this swale with as much as possible so I'm sure my neighbors will now rubberneck about this development all five of them who pass in this road but that makes me happy it confirms that I'm doing something new different I'm not repeating old patterns. Very, very good. This uh, patch of cystus being cleared and we discovered some real trees. Here is the acebuche, the wild olive and then the holm oak. I just need to get it upright 
and prune it a bit. A lot of asabuches. And another one here, another one there, another one here. Makes me happy. Maria Jose, ¿cómo estás? Bien. Está, ¿Estás trabajando duro? Sí. <laughs> <laughs> Chao. Chao. This morning we have some frost. Not in all the areas. I still don't know how nature decides where to put it and where not, obviously when it, where it's colder. At least my sugar cane is still alive. It needs a lot of sun, but uh, I hope it will do well. And uh, here on the swale, there's still a lot of water here. We haven't had running water for three months. And uh, it's interesting. Some areas, obviously, much more clay soil. But again, this was the swale was heavily filled with our sisters and branches twice, and every time it decomposes, and that gives us hope. This. Uh, construction site is changing as well. I have reached the first goal of removing topsoil. It's the first time I work on a flat surface and it's actually much harder than I thought. I got so experienced and used to working on an angle that this is new for me amazing I the first time I take soil dirt from one area put it in another area and then move it again I've never done that before never had to do that before two steps feels strange for me but it's happening I'm building some two levels of topsoil, the topsoil we have and then the topsoil I've removed and uh, it serves as a very important step to have drainage for the plants we put in here and this is the highest part of the land I will have to think how to get the irrigation here, but uh, that will happen. It's also drying out. We had a little rain a week ago, and now it's actually much easier to work here. Here are the top fence, the highest fence, and uh, this is the southern border. The sand has arrived and this is eight cubic meters. Each of them weigh more than a ton. And uh, I'm always amazed how the truck can lift them up with the boom and deposit them here. The operator is very skilled. I just close my eyes and pray that this vehicle will not capsize, but I don't want to give my fear to him. 
So uh, I just smile and say thank you and I appreciate the job well done. The sand must now be pushed by wheelbarrow to that area and that will be fun. I wonder how many trips we will have to do. Beautiful days, cool mornings, zero degrees Celsius and then it goes up to 15, 17 degrees, which are brilliant days. We are happy to be here. We look forward to what we can do this year. We want to enjoy our successes more and celebrate them and take time to start looking back and see what worked well and what didn't work so well. Beautiful time. Till next time. Goodbye.